One of George Lucas's key elements to how he approached Star Wars was the idea of making a mythology where there was a clear good and evil element. You're basically a good guy on the good side or a bad guy on the bad side. And while this certainly has its own value, there's limitations as well. In practice, this means you kind of lose the ability to analyze the actions of people. Good is a thing you are, rather than a thing you do, and the same with evil. If there's any connection between your morality and your actions, rather than being able to say you're a good person because you've done good things, it turns into you do good things because you're now a good person. One of the best parts in Andor is how it handles moving past this. There's definitely clear good and bad guys, but there's nobody with uncomplicated motivations, and as we see with almost every character, if you're helping the right side, it doesn't necessarily mean you're doing it the right way or for the right reasons, and sometimes helping the bad side comes down less to a specific choice of whom you support, and more a result of how you react to your circumstances. Though the show is always making it clear that you do have a choice to move beyond that, which it's highlighting in the latest arc with Kino.